Hello friends, let us discuss about the Indian river system. Rivers of India are considered the basic needs of Indian people as they depend heavily on the rivers. The India's river system support a huge number of people's livelihood by offering irrigation, portable water, affordable transportation and energy. The Indian rivers are classified into perennial rivers and the peninsular rivers. Perennial rivers are also known as northern rivers or the Himalayan rivers. The Himalayan rivers were divided into three major systems, the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers. And the peninsular rivers are divided among west flowing rivers and the east flowing rivers. The east flowing rivers are the rivers which flow from west to east and merge in Bay of Bengal. Some of the east flowing rivers are Ganga, Brahmini, Mahanadi, Vamsadara, Nagavali, Godavari, Krishna, Penna, Kaveri and Vaigai rivers. And the west flowing rivers are the rivers which flow from east to west and merge in Arabian Sea. Some of the west flowing rivers are Indus, Luni, Sabarmati, Mahi, Narmada, Tapti, Juari, Mandovi, Sharavati, Netravati, Pamba and Peria rivers. We will discuss about one of the important Himalayan rivers that is Indus river and its tributaries. It is a Himalayan river system and is one of the world's largest river basin. And this Indus river originates from a glacier called Bokarchu in Tibet near Lake Manasarovar. In India, this Indus river enters in an area called Demchok in Ladakh. This river flows between Ladakh and Karakoram ranges. Indus river is also known as Sindhu river. The Sindhu river system is one of the world's and Indian subcontinent's most fertile regions. This river passes through three countries. Those are Pakistan, India and China's Tibetan areas. This river overall it travels around 3180 kilometers in India, Tibet and Pakistan. And only in India, this river travels nearly 709 kilometers. The catchment area of the Indus river is 3,21,000 square kilometers. In Tibetan region, this river is known as Singhi Kambai or Lion's Mouth. Most part of the Indus river flows in Pakistan. In India, this river flows about 5% and in Tibet about, 9, about 2% and in Pakistan, this river flows about 90%. And one of the greatest civilization called as Indus Valley Civilization flourished in the basins of Indus river. The tributaries of Indus river are classified into left tributaries and right tributaries. Janskar, it is one of the important left blank tributaries of the Indus and Panjna. It is the joint river current of all the five rivers of the Punjab that is Jhelum, Chinab, Bees, Satlas and Ravi. And the shortcut to remember these left tributaries of Indus river is given below that is JCB showroom rate. The highlighted letters in the shortcut are the first letters of the river names. And the right tributaries are Shoek, Gilgit, Kabul, Kurram, Gomal and Job. And the shortcut to remember these right tributary names are Singapore that is SG Kite Festival Ka Great Zone Hai. And the highlighted letters in the shortcut are the first letters of the right tributaries of the Indus River. Shoaik River, it originated from Remo Glacier and it is of about 550 kilometers length. This river marks the southeastern fringe of Karakoram ranges by forming a V-shaped bend around it. And Shoaik River flows through northern Ladakh region. Nubra is the main tributary of the Shoaik River. Nubra originated from Nubra Glacier in a depression to the east of Saltoro Kangri Peak. And Nubra Valley, situated at an altitude of 3048 meters, is formed out of the Nubra River. Gilgit, it is an important right bank tributary of Indus River in its course through Ladakh region of Jammu and Kashmir. And this river originated from a glacier near the extreme northwestern boundary of the Himalayas. Bunji is the main human settlement along this river. And the right tributary of Gilgit is Gizar and the left tributary is Hunza. 
Hunza, it rises from glacier north of the Karakoram range in the northwestern part of Jammu and Kashmir and it flows southeast and cuts across the Karakoram range through a spectacular gorge. The left tributaries are Janskar and Panjanan. As I mentioned be before, in Janskar there is no human settlement and it is one of the important left bank tributaries and in Panjana it is the joint river current of all the five rivers that is Jhelum, China, Ravi, Bees and Sutlas. Jhelum river it originated from in Verinag which is in Pirpanjal range of Jammu and Kashmir and this river is of about 813 kilometers. Jhelum river flows through Vular lake and Pirpanjal lake and the important projects on the Jhelum river are Julum, Kishan Ganga, Mangal, Uri in Jammu and Kashmir state. Chinab river, it originated in Baralachal Pass in, in the state of Himachal Pradesh and it is of about 1180 kilometers length. This Chinab river passes through the states of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir through Pangi Valley. This Chinab river is a combination of two rivers. Chandra river and Bhaga river. It is also referred as Chandra Bhaga in its upper reaches. And the important projects on this river are Dulhasti and Salal projects in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and Pakaldul, Ratli and Kiru projects in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Bagilar dam has been constructed on this China river. The world's tallest railroad bridge named China bridge is on this river. According to Indus Water Treaty, Pakistan is given access to Chinab's water. The next left tributary of Indus River is Ravi River and it originated in Rotang Pass near Kulu Hills in Himachal Pradesh state and it is of length 725 kilometers. After covering a distance of 725 kilometers, it joins the Chinab River in Pakistan and this river passes through Chumbi Valley. Pirpanjal range to Dauladar range. Ravi river flows as indo Pak border for a particular distance. And the important projects on this river are Thin Dam or it is also called as Ranjit Sagar Dam which is in Jammu and Kashmir state. Beast river. It originated in Beast Kund near Rohatang Pass in the state of Himachal Pradesh. And it is of length 460 kilometers. This Beast river merges with Sutlas river at Harike Patan in Punjab. This is the only river which originates in India and also merges in India. Remaining all the rivers merges in Pakistan. The famous hill station Manali is situated on the right banks of the river Bees. And the important projects on this river Bees are Pong Dam, Bees Project, Lois Dam in the states of Punjab and Haryana. The next left tributary of the Indus River is the Sutlas River. It originated in Rakas Lake near Manasarovar Lake in the area of Tibet. And this Sutlas River enters India at Shipkila Pass in the state of Himachal Pradesh. The total length of the Sutlas River is 1450 kilometers with 1050 kilometers situated within Indian territory. This is the only river which does not originate in India. And it is a transboundary river and it's sometimes known as Red River. The important projects on Sutlas River are Natpa Jakri, Bakra in the state of Himachal Pradesh, Nangal project in the state of Punjab. This Sutlas River departs from Himachal Pradesh and enters the Punjab plains near Bakra, where the world's highest gravity dam, the Bakra Nangal Dam was built on this river. And the Harike Barrage has been constructed at the confluence of Bees and Sutlas Rivers from where Indira Gandhi Canal starts. The left tributaries of Indus River which you have seen till now and the old names as per Rukveda were for Jilam it is Vitasta, for Chinab it is Asikne, for Bees it is Vipasa and for Sutlas River it is Satudri and for Ravi it is Parushti. And the trick to remember these old and new names are VJ, V for Vitasta and J for Jilam and CA, C for China and A for Asikne, Bipasa, B for Bees and Pasa for Vipasa and Sutlas and Chatudri both 
reverse old name and new name uh, the letter starts with s so s and s and rap for r a for ravi and p for parushni dobs what is the meaning of word dob dob means the land between two streams of a river the place where two small streams join together and appear in the form of a big river is called as dob in other words dob separates two rivers the small streams might be the tributaries of the river also so between indus and jhelum river the dob is called as sindhigar or sindhu sagar dob and between chenab and jhelum it is jez dob between ravi and chenab it is rachna and between bees and ravi rivers it is bari dob and between bees and satlas river it is bisti dob indus water treaty it is a water distribution agreement or the treaty which was signed between india and pakistan on 19 september 1960 in karachi and this was signed by the then indian prime minister jawahar lal nehru and pakistan's president ayub khan this treaty was mediated by the world bank the treaty divides the indus river and its tributaries into two groups that is one group eastern rivers and the other group is western rivers India got control over the three eastern rivers which are Ravi, Bees and Satlas which means on these three rivers India has got 80% control and 20% for Pakistan and for western rivers that is Indus, China and Jhelum on this 80% share for the Pakistan and 20% for India a permanent Indus commission was set up by the united nations for resolving any disputes that may arise in water sharing with a mechanism for arbitration to resolve conflicts amicably so this is all about the indus river and its tributaries in the upcoming video we will see the other two himalayan rivers that is about the ganga and the brahmaputra thank you